here is from the Encyclopedia Britannica uh, an article on Russia. And down here, I photocopied this, enlarged it. So this is taken from the Encyclopedia, and this is the, the flag of Russia, and this is the Soviet Union's coat of arms. Okay? Here is what the coat of arms says. First of all, the flag of Russia is a Russian, the red stands for revolution. Of course, it goes back to Rothschild, red shield. Rothschild is red shield. But, the coat of arms, what do you see there? The sun coming up again? The coat of arms carries the motto, workers of all countries unite. The hammer and the sickle represents the spread of communism. Now watch this. You see the sun, the rising sun is a symbol of the dawning of the new day of communism. Now you're going to see how important this is real soon. Because we're talking about God's son who's going to come back and bring the kingdom. God's son? Well, just get ready. The coat of arms, the Soviet communist coat of arms, the sun rising on the earth, it says the rising sun is a symbol, and these are important words, that's why I'm rereading them, is a symbol of the what? What is that word? The dawning of the new day, end quote. Okay? Now can we have the lights for one minute, not two, just one. Jimmy Carter, yes, sir. on the back, when he was inaugurated, he said, I see the sun rising on a beautiful new day. Okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> And when did he say this? I see the sun rising on a beautiful new day, on a beautiful new spirit. And when did he say this? Dawn. The dawn of November 3rd. D-A-W-N. He got up early so he could see the sun rise and gave a speech in which he said, I see the sun rising on a beautiful new day as a ritual. Let them know that he's in tune. That's it. You let the boss know that you understand. I, Richard Nixon, do solemnly swear. I, Richard Nixon, do solemnly swear. I, Gerald R. Ford, do solemnly swear. I, Jimmy Carter, do solemnly swear. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God. I only, and I'm a lay person, study the Constitution, research authorities on the Constitution. I only do constitutional law. That's it, as a lay person. But there are individuals out there that are giving bad advice, Michael O'Bernicia, or whatever his name is, he used to be a good guy, he switched over to the wrong side, he's gone to the dark side.